Hey guys, it's Nicole from ConvertKit. Today I'm going to walk you through connecting your LeadPages standard builder page to ConvertKit. LeadPages does offer two page options. They offer the standard builder as well as the drag and drop. I'll go over the drag and drop builder in another video. Today I'm just going to talk about the standard builder. Okay, so I've selected my lead page template and I want to connect this with my ConvertKit account. So here there's this click and this lead form here. I want to connect this to ConvertKit. <clears throat> so I've created a form for this page, its own form, and I'm going to click in. I've just selected the naked form style because the design of this form doesn't really matter. My subscribers are never going to see it. Um, this is only going to be for internal use just to be able to map that first name and email field from lead pages to ConvertKit. I'm gonna go over to my settings and the embed tab. Now by default, it's on JavaScript, but I actually wanna select the HTML and I wanna copy this full code right here. So I'm just gonna copy. Then I'm gonna come back to lead pages and open up my lead box. Um, by default, it's integrated with lead notifications. I want to select this HTML copy and paste other here. Then it gives me a little HTML code box to paste it in, so I'm gonna paste. Now, this is really important, and this is a little bit different if you've created a standard builder template with lead pages before. We've added some security measures to our forms, so you actually need to make one tiny modification to the code. And so what we're looking for is, let's see. Oh, I believe it's at the top. Here we go. We're looking for this, the actual form code, and we're actually looking for the action URL. That's this right here. It's uh, app.convertkit.com slash landing pages slash your specific landing page number slash subscribe. This is what makes your form work. And what I'm going to do is add just dot HTML to the end of this action action URL. And what that does is it forces um, lead pages to go to the convert kit thank you page you've set up instead of having you set up the thank you page in lead pages itself. Um, if you don't do this, it's going to go through the lead pages thank you page and it's actually not going to work with our new security measures. So you want to make sure you have this .html um, added to your form action URL and that's going to help prevent um, nefarious people from subscribing, spam subscribers to your ConvertKit account. Um, and it's going to make sure that you get to set up the thank you page that you want in ConvertKit. So you paste that in this HTML code box um, and then you're going to click customize this form. So now this is reading the code that we've put in and you can see it actually added this third form box and this is it's called captcha what you want to do is deselect it that field is there um, it's a security measure and basically a bot would try to fill it out um, because they would think that it was supposed to be filled out but it's not supposed to be filled out so you want to just uncheck it there um, so you just have that first name and email address um, and that should be everything you need. So go ahead and click OK. And let's save our progress here. And then we're going to click and make sure that it looks good. Okay, our integration settings looks great. Make sure my code still looks good. .html, perfect. Okay. Um, well, I didn't really do anything, but okay. Oh, I accidentally re-enabled it. So that's what happens if you hit save. Okay, so let's hit okay and save again. <laughs> and it doesn't have the CAPTCHA, okay, great. Okay, so then the last thing that we're gonna do is go over back to our form in ConvertKit, 
And if you go to the main settings tab, um, we want to, so by default, it's going to redirect to a page that has this success message. Success, check your email to confirm your subscription. Um, so you can customize this text if you don't really want to fuss around with a page, or you can redirect to another page. So this is the redirect you're forcing um, with that little modification to the HTML code. This can be um, a thank you page on your website. If you're using lead pages, they have some great thank you page templates. Um, maybe you want to actually put your incentive in here, whatever you want to do. Um, or you can just change, customize this message. But you want to make sure you're doing this on this side and not in lead pages. Um, okay, and then if you want to connect this form, this lead page to any sequences, um, if you want to give an incentive, you would do all of that in ConvertKit. Now that you have the, the two connected, everything else is going to be set up in ConvertKit. Hopefully that makes um, the standard builder process pretty simple to follow. If you have any further questions, you can always reach us at help at convertkit.com.